C I E T N C E R T presents audio book Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class Three, Page Number Nineteen, Chapter Three, Water or Water? Water. I'll wash my face with water," said Munna to his nani. We all quench our thirst with water. We are all alive because of water. Water has been with us for ages. Its story can fill so many pages. Somewhere it is dew. Somewhere it is snow. Steam is also water as you know. Water has forms so many. That is what says my nani. The river flow. The waterfalls sing. And water swells in lakes and springs. Life on earth it has brought, watered field and life they got. But when the water breaks in floods, great misfortune it always works. Shri Prasad, translated from the Hindi. Note: Children may sing songs and poems related to water that are commonly sung in their region in the class. This will bring them closer to their community and arts of their region. Page number twenty. One. Do you know any poem or song on water, recited in the class? Two. Which are the places mentioned in the poem where we find water? Three. Tick right the activities for which water is needed. To play, to sing, to row a boat, to write, to make tea, to knead dough, to run a fan, to paint pictures, to grow plants. Four. Name any four activities. Which a you can do without water. There are four blank spaces given here. B you cannot do without water. There are four blank spaces given here as well. Water, more or less. Arrange the following on the basis of the amount of water that is needed for each of the activities. Begin with the activity that needs the most water. Activities: to bathe, to drink, to clean the house, to water the fields, to knead the dough. One, two, three, four, five. Five spaces are given here for answer. Page number twenty-one. Water from where? In the poem you read about rivers, waterfalls, lakes and springs. We get water from all these places. From where do you get water? Put a circle around those places that are either in your house or around it. Lake, well, tubefill, pond, waterfall, hand pump. River, stream, tap, tank or tanker, tanky, sea, hot water spring. Have you seen hot water coming out of the ground? Where? Does any river flow through your village or city? If yes, write its name. Do you know the names of any rivers? Write their names. At home, where do you get drinking water from? Do you have to go far to get water? How much time does it take to bring the water? Do your neighbors bring water from the same place? Why do we need to store water? Who fetches and stores water in your house? Are there certain people who are not allowed to take water from there? Note: 
In many places, certain people are not allowed to take water from the common source. It is important to discuss this so that children are sensitized towards issues like discrimination. Page number 22. Color the pictures of those containers which you use for storing water. Here on page number 22, there are different containers which we use for storing water. Color the pictures of those containers which you use for storing water. In your notebook, draw pictures of any other containers which are used for storing water in your house. Write their names as well. Take a look at the pictures. If we fill them with water, 1. Which will contain the least water? 2. Which will contain the most water? How could you tell? Page number 23 Chutki is confused. Hirain and Chutki were feeling very thirsty. Their uncle gave both of them mango panna in steel tumblers. But Chutki wanted the drink only in a glass tumbler. Her uncle poured the panna into a glass tumbler. But Chutki was not happy. She complained. Uncle, you have given me less panna. What do you feel? Did Chutki's glass tumbler have less panna? Given in the grid are some places where water is found. Find seven of them and put a circle around each. One has already been done for you. There is a grid given here with different alphabets, including the names of places where water is found. There are nine columns and five rows in this grid. In column 1, we have alphabets W, E, L, L, X. In column 2, we have A, L, S, W, W. In column 3, we have T, A, E, I, E. In column number 4, we have E, K, A, Q, L. Column number 5, we have R, E, S, Y, L. Column number 6, we have F, R, A, I, N. Column number 7, we have A, P, O, N, D. In column number 8, we have L, X, M, N, Y. Column number 9, we have L, Q, T, A, P. Now moving towards rows. We have five rows in this grid. Row 1 has these alphabets. W, A, T, E, R, F, A, L, L. Row 2 has E, L, A, K, E, R, P, X, Q. Row 3 has L, S, E, A, S, A, O, M, T. Row 4 has L, W, I, Q, Y, I, N, N, A. Row 5 has X, W, E, L, L, N, D, Y, P. Note, demonstrate this activity. Chutki is confused in the class. Provide opportunities to observe and ask questions for the children to answer. Page number 24 
in every row put a circle around one that is different from the others also tell how it is different a river mountain lake pond spring b bathing washing clothes swimming combing hair kneading dough c fish duck monkey crocodile tortoise d car boat bus train bicycle fun with colors take a paper and fold it in the middle now unfold it and put some drops of different colors on it fold the paper again and press it unfold the paper look what you have made chapter number 3 water o oh water ends here you were just listening to the audio book looking around textbook in environmental studies for class 3 recorded by butelang lingdo and vikas sangwan production assistance by meenakshi kukreti produced by vimlesh choudhary presented to you by ciet nceert new delhi india